in the feng shui business, people expect us to be very traditional in the way we approach our craft. But at the same time, as a business, there's always the pressure to innovate and communicate in a way that people are very comfortable with. Family business is always difficult. Any second generation will tell you that the pressure to, to be good at what you do is always there. When I first took over as CEO, the biggest challenge was to convince him that my thinking for the company going forward is correct. People expect you to be very good at what you do from day one without giving you much time to learn. Realistically, uh, no matter in what capacity you are or whether you are your father's son, you need to learn the business before you can be good at it. I still remember when I first took over, uh, the first thing I looked at was the p and I was thinking that this company was run very, um, not very efficiently. So I started looking at the business units and I took the decision to close uh, a store on Orchard Road. People were very upset. At one point, there was a lot of heated arguments between me, the management, my parents, and also uh, some of the staff were obviously upset. A few of them started handing in their resignation letter. At one point, half my company left. That was probably the most challenging part of, uh, of me managing this company. How did I overcome it? I think I couldn't have overcome it without, you know, everybody's help. The longer the company has been around, the co more complex the system becomes. And as the system becomes more complex, change becomes more difficult. So in order for you to effect change in an organisation that has been successful and been around for so long, you need to be even more charismatic and, and display more leadership than the founder himself. I had a vision and people, people believe in it. And those people who stood by me at that point are still with me now. So I think that uh, sometimes it's, it's not about overcoming problems, it's about powering through it. <laughs> One thing I learned from managing this company is that you need to give people autonomy to make decisions. So I live by this 60% rule. If someone else can do 60% of the work you can do, then you should just approve it. As a second generation owner, the most important thing is to get as many buy-ins as you can from the organization and from your founders. Now we are on a very healthy path and I feel like everybody is focused on what they need to do. My aspiration is to continue letting Way or Net be what it is to make sure it's still uh, of a good standing in the feng shui industry and also to have a happy work environment and also be a yardstick for a good organisation that runs on honesty and responsibility towards uh, clients. <laughs>